number 28 or 48 okay what it is? was a person from pune unregistered a recipient okay okay i'll see i'll see this slide you tell me where we have stopped i'll you know i'll continue with the slides okay once again welcome back you all for this igs to session and in this igs to session we are going to continue from the point which where we guys have stopped so please allow me to share my screen already the recording is started <coughs> is my screen visible yes sir okay i'll go to Slide number twenty-eight. You say right. Slide number twenty-eight. Where it is? Here, yes, sir. I think here we have stopped, and uh, here we are going to stop. Uh, start from this particular. <coughs> but here we have done with uh, this slide or not? Or we? I have, I have explained this slide or not? No, sir. Okay, so in this particular one. as we are going to see the place of uh, supply of services and here we are talking about services service by organizing cultural arts sports educational scientific entertainment conference fair exhibition or similar events and ancillary services so in that regard we are talking about this one and friends today we are talking about if this kind of services are provided if you look at the picture actually this person is going from pune and he is going to participate in the exhibition which is there in mumbai so arranging exhibition is a part of uh, you know uh, services which are provided by the host and here we are talking about this kind of service and this benefit is taken by the person who is going to see the exhibition in mumbai basically he is from pune and but uh, he is going to get this kind of exhibition related services in mumbai so actually the person is pune services are provided in mumbai he is going to get the benefit of those services in mumbai so we are here to understand this what sort of place of supply will be here service provider is providing services in mumbai person is going to get the services in mumbai but the person is actually from not mumbai he is from pune so in this case we are going to talk about uh, you know the pass uh, pass we are going to talk about the place of supply actually in this kind of case or in this particular case wherever the event is organized that particular place of event is called as place of supply so here in this case pune is not the place of event mumbai is the place of event so mumbai is called as uh, uh, place of supply no doubt at all because the person who is going to uh, get the benefit of exhibition is not called as or is called as unregistered recipient and he is going to get the benefit at the and uh, i hope you have understood what i meant to say so this is for this kind of services which are given at the place of event and in that or in those cases definitely the place of event is called as place of supply i hope you have understood now please uh, we are going to see one more thing here and by looking at this you can understand what i want to say and this one is the you know uh, what we call it favorite things of extras and from this we can understand basically people are going to 
people are going to gain the benefit of gym and uh, i'm giving the example of gym here and or gym related services we are talking about so we will talk about the things which are happening here what are those we will just look at the title which has been provided here the title is very much simple what is the title supply of restaurant and catering services personal grooming beauty treatment health services fitness and etc so not only fitness and etc uh, health services are covered here we have covered catering services rent restaurant services personal grooming beauty treatment if you go to parlor if you go to saloon and all and those are also covered here uh, even uh, health services are also covered here and last one which is shown in the picture that is fitness services so if you go and get the benefit of this kind of services at the place where those services are provided or those services are uh, supplied so in that case what will be the place of um, supply which we are discussing uh, i think i will give you one example here and from that example you can understand what i meant to say suppose uh, you are taken a taken a subscription of a gym and instead of uh, doing exercise at home you are visiting gym every day or you visit gym every day and getting the benefit of gym so you are not you know buying this services you're definitely you're buying these services but not at your place you are going to get the benefit of going to get the benefit of gym at the gym only or fitness center so fitness center is not coming to you you are go going there so in this case you are getting the you are the recipient no doubt at all you all are the recipient if you look at the picture these three girls are the recipient and uh, the place where this kind of services are called as fitness or uh, services are given uh, can be called as fitness center so these girls are going to get the benefit of uh, fitness center at the fitness center or going to get the benefit of health uh, fitness services at the fitness center so recipients are recipients are going to the place of supplier so in this case what will be the place of supply that is the question mark in everybody's mind and uh, i'm giving the answer of that question mark no doubt at all if you look at the last uh, title which i have or label i have shown here in this case if you want to decide this no doubt recipients are not getting benefits at their own place but they are going to get the benefit at the place of center so center whatever is the place of center that could be the place of supply no doubt at all so here in this case wherever the fitness center is located for example uh, if it is located in uh, big one chok so that particular set research uh, fitness center is the place of supply or big one chok is the place of supply if you are going to get it so it is very simple wherever those services are offered wherever those services are actually given or wherever you know, people get the benefit of those services can be called as place of supply i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say next one here uh, we will talk about one more thing and uh, what is that let me tell you so look at this uh, look at this what example what for what i have already told you just look at the title supply of service by transportation of goods including by mail or courier if you look at the title what they have said here and uh, just look at this just wait for a while okay just look at this what i meant to say if you look at the title you can understand what i meant to say see supply of services or service by transportation of goods including by mail or courier see goods are transported or this one is a service transportation service of goods and those are done by mail or courier so goods are transferred or this transportation services we are talking about we are not talking about good transportation of or supply of goods we are talking about transportation of goods i think we have n number of companies of transportation of goods or good transports so you are talking about the services provided by the good transporting company for the purpose of supplying goods so this is what this one is the type of service so here is the supplier and uh, recipient is what registered recipient no doubt at all the recipient who is going to receive the 
this receive this kind of service is a registered receipt. or registered recipient and the place of supply. So wherever is the registered recipient, this particular place is called as place of supply. And this is what in last label what I have given. Registered recipient is the, or that could be the place of supply or the location of the recipient is the place of supply without fail. And uh, I hope you have understood. Only the, this kind of services is supplied by the supplier and it is given to the registered recipient that is ABC limited. So wherever is the ABC limited, in that particular place is called as place of supply without any doubt. Uh, friends, let me tell you this topic is very much you know bigger than the other topics and uh, otherwise you will feel like that how much time this topic is taking. Forget about the time but we are going to cover each and every part of IGST especially the things and the clauses and the provisions which are there for the purpose of determining place of supply. So just look at the another example and this example relates to courier services, mail or courier services. What is this? Just look at this. We have seen the example of mail or courier services which was there for registered recipient. Now we are talking about the person who can be called as unregistered person. Let me tell you the meaning of registered and unregistered. Registered means what? The person who has registered himself, or the company who has registered himself for the under the GST Act. Unregistered means what? Who has not registered under the GST Act. So here we are talking about supply of service by transportation of goods, including by mail or courier, but not to the registered person. But here it has been supplied to the unregistered person and this is what I told you in this particular case if it is the person is not registered under the GST is called as unregistered if the person is registered under GST is called as registered person or registered recipient in case of registered or unregistered in previous example what we guys have seen if the person is registered, whatever is the location of the registered person, that was the place of supply. Here also, same thing is applicable. If the person is not registered, it doesn't matter at all. Whatever is the location of that unregistered person is the place of supply. That is the concept. I hope you have understood what I mean to say as far as the uh, place of supply for the purpose of unregistered recipient. I hope you guys have understood whatever I mean to say. Thank you very much. Next, uh, here we are talking about certain types of different types of services which you all are getting in your life. What is that? Just look at this. Services in relation to training and performance appraisal. Look at this. These are the things which are provided for the purpose of giving trainings. Trainings are giving, performance appraisals are done. So if you look at this pictures, these are the girls, they are from Taekwondo or martial art. And they are getting this kind of services from their trainer. So trainer is there to provide the training and trainees are there to get the training. So these two girls and the girls which are there in these pictures, those are the trainees. And the girl which is a little bit hidden or the person which is a little bit hidden, we can't say him, is called as trainer. So this trainer is giving the services of training and trainees are also there. So in this case, what we are talking about, we are here to decide if services in relation to training and performance appraisals are provided, then what, <coughs> then what could be the place of supply. So in this case, these are the trainees from Noida and training of martial art center, or sorry, the training of martial art is given at martial art center in Delhi. So they are getting the training at Delhi, but they are from Noida. So here we are talking about the place of supply and the place of supply can be determined by looking at the last label. What is the label? Registered recipient location of the recipient if the register uh, recipients are registered look at this what i'm going to say if the recipients are registered then the location of the supply is what the location of the recipient look at this 
in this example these two girls are registered recipient so whatever is their location example from this we can understand this provision which is related to services in relation to training and performance appraisal i hope you guys have understood what i am saying now the next one <clears throat> look at this this one is a player this one is a sport person and he is going to participate in or he is going to get a training of football at delhi basically he is from gurugram and he is going to get a training at delhi if you look at the picture you can understand in a very nice very easy manner still i am telling you guys what could be the place of supply just look at the provision what is the provision what is the title what is an example um services in relation to training and performance appraisal once again we are talking about the similar sort of example which we have seen earlier if you look at this here we are talking about services in relation to training and performance appraisal and we are talking about the place of supply place of supply correct here the person who is going to participate in this training and performance appraisal camp is from gurugram but this training and performance appraisal camp is held or is going to be held in delhi so that particular person for example x person has to participate in this kind of training and performance appraisal camp in delhi so he has to be there in delhi and then only he can participate in that particular camp okay so what is our assumption that particular person is not registered he is unregistered person or unregistered recipient so wherever he is going to participate wherever he is going to perform as a trainee in the training or appraisal camp then wherever is the location of training and performance appraisal camp could be the place of supply I'm getting my point so that we can understand here wherever is the place of supply or wherever is the place of training place of performance appraisal that could be the place of supply without any problem and this is what we guys have seen this one is uh, this one or this kind of one more example as far as person who is registered one and if it is not registered then the place of supply will be different if you look at this in case of registered one the place of supply was location of the recipient but in case of if it is unregistered one the place of supply is the place of actual performance that kind of for this one is the difference that you guys have to remember as far as registered and unregistered recipient are concerned now the next one <clears throat> i think we all are enjoying this most of them they have enjoyed so these are the day to day example which we come across and for all those this those things there are separate provisions in gst even in igst also if you look at this everybody's dream is to travel by air and uh, some of them they have achieved some of them have not achieved but by looking at this picture you can at least imagine about it so just look at the title and understand the concept understand the provision this provision talks about what this provision talks about services on board convents like vessel aircraft train motor vehicle so these are the <coughs> sorry question is that uh these are the services which are on board convents like vessel aircraft train motor vehicle and etc and here we are talking about what we are talking about the place of supply if you look at the first picture what they have given in this first picture you can see um, people are traveling from air they are getting down from air now if you look at the second picture we can see the air hostess is providing hospitality to the travelers and uh, if you look at the next one this one is just picture of mumbai so what does it mean people are coming from delhi in between they are getting hospitality from air staff which can be called as air hostess and they are getting back to mumbai so mumbai is their location and uh, they are doing this journey with the help of aircraft so or air so fly or 
flight, we can say. In Marathi, we call it Vimana in the air. We are not having any concern with the air hostess. We are not having any concern with the hospitality, hospitality provided by the air hostess. We are having concern with the place of supply. Person, people are leaving from Delhi. They are getting back to or they are getting into or in Mumbai. This is the situation. People are traveling from Delhi to Mumbai. The place of traveling where they have started their journey is Delhi. Where they are going to end their journey is Mumbai. And now in this case, what could be the place of supply? So see, the place of supply is very simple. No doubt people, those who are getting in Mumbai, they all are from Mumbai. Some of them, they are from Pune and uh, they don't have direct flight to Pune. This is what they are getting or they are getting connecting flights and they are getting, uh, you know, down in Mumbai. And that could be the reason. But they all are not from Mumbai. So we cannot say Mumbai is the place of supply. So what could be the place of supply? The place of supply in this case, if you want to decide, if you want to determine the place of supply, then it is very simple. What is that? First scheduled point of departure of the conveyance for that journey. Wherever or at which particular point the journey is started, that particular point where the journey was started, that is the place of supply. And if you look at this example, the journey was started from Delhi and ended with or ended in Mumbai. So Delhi is the place of supply because all are not from Mumbai. All are not from one particular place. So wherever the journey was started, that particular point was the or is the place of supply in this particular example. I hope you are understanding whatever I'm teaching in the class. No doubt, very soon we are going, we are getting back into the classes for physical lectures. Actually, government has announced, made, oh, sorry, made an announcement regarding the physical classes, but we are waiting for the local government's decision. Now, <coughs> sorry, look at that we get as telecommunication services and uh, we are deciding about what could be the place of location. Just look at the provision, just look at the title, just look at the heading which I have written here. Just go through this. See, supply of telecommunication services including data transfer, broadcasting, DTH, cable, etc. We get this kind of services in our day-to-day -day life. And without this kind of services, life is not feasible, not that much easy as such, if I'm not wrong. Look at this, what I mean to say. The title, once again, I'm repeating here, and the title is what? Supply of telecommunication services, including data transfer, broadcasting, DTH, cable, etc. Telecommunication service we get, we get, you know, we have a telecommunication provi services provider like uh, Geo, like Idea, Vodafone, Airtel. These are the telecommunication services providers. So we get their services. We get mobile data, and those can be called as data transfer services. Even we get broadcasting services. Uh, we get um, a DTH direct to home services. In DTH, there are n number of things like uh, Tata Sky is now renamed as Tata Play. Then DTH, Videocon, n number of DTH providers are there. Even cable providers are also there. And if we get this kind of services, or if this kind of services are provided, what could be the place of supply? This is the point of discussion. Or this is the point of discussion today. If you look at this, I'm going to talk about three services here. Look at the first one, A, B, C. These are the three ones. Look at the A number or A1 or A point. Services of fixed telecommunication line, leased circuits, internet leased circuits, cable or dish antenna. If we get for fixed telecommunication lines, like, you know, BSNL, uh, landline we have, landline, leased circuit, internet a broadband services if we have, then sir, <coughs> leased circuits, internet leased circuits, and cable or dish antenna, we uh, get the cable for a uplate, uh, uh, video con, and uh, air, 
other things like this thing. so in this kind of fixed wires wherever fixed wires are there we cannot move so those in those cases what will be the place of supply that on the fixed line when there's a landing a sale to me cable ni selela sale to me example jal to me move karu shakat nahi if you want to watch tv then you need to visit home or you need to go home and then only you can watch tv if you you know make a call and if you do not have mobile then you need to visit your home you need to get back to your home and from landline you can make a call this is the situation this can be called as fixed so in this kind of fixed services which we get from telecommunication line lease socket internet lease socket cable or dish antenna in that case what could be the place of supply it's very simple wherever those things fixed things are actually installed jitu kutate sarva basolela hai that particular place is the place of supply it's very simple for example if it is located in baramati at your home so baramati means your home is the place of supply look at the second point that is point b and here we are talking about what post paid mobile connection for telecommunication and internet services we get post paid i think in post or uh, in mobile connection there are two categories category number 1 is post paid and category number 2 is prepaid and we all are aware with post paid and prepaid there is no need to explain because most of the people we are using prepaid plan and some of them they are having post paid post paid plans also so first of all out of these two plans we are talking about plan number 1 and that is post paid mobile connection for telecommunication and internet services if we go for telecommunication as well as internet services then what could be the place of supply that we are discussing here in case of post paid mobile tele- connection for telecommunication and internet services the place of supply is very much simple whatever is your billing address especially for post paid connection they ask you for billing address so whatever is your billing address or whatever is the billing address of the recipient as per the record of the service the now but the thing which is very interesting if you do not have post paid and if you have prepaid so there is no billing address as such no because we won't get billed we pay first and we utilize for a stipulated time or stipulated period du- uh, duration right so in case of prepaid mobile connection we do not have billing address of the recipient so in this case what will happen it's very simple just look at this prepaid mobile connection for telecommunication and internet services in this case there are three things they have given thing number 1 through internet if you go for internet location of the recipient on record whatever is the address you have provided at the time of getting connection or at the time of getting connection from the supplier or the telecommunication provider you need to fill one form so whatever address you have written that could be the place of supply for through connection then through selling agent location of the selling agent on record of the supplier if you are getting your connection through selling agent then selling agent's address will be the location of the supplier or location of the place of the supply sorry and the last one through others if you are getting this connection through others then location where prepaid payments received wherever they are receiving your payment for example if you receive if you charge your account from baramati so that could be the place of supply so these are the things as far as the telecommunication services including data transfer broadcasting dth cable etc and here we have been talked about the place of supply if we or uh, if this kind of services are supplied now the next one advertisement services to government etc if the advertisement is made for the government purpose if the advertisement is made for the government purpose in this case what could be the place of supply see not only advertisement are made by the companies or institutions even government also make also make certain advertisement for the purpose of tourism for the purpose of you know n number of things if you look at this we can see this one is the first one that is asiatic lion that gir national park so this one is the advertisement of gir national park then 
if you look at the next one that is the uh, Gujarat, I think so, in Gujarat, and uh, the star of the millennium, Amitabh Bachchan, is advertised in this. Similarly, Rajasthan government has also made one advertisement about Wonder Rajasthan, Rajasthan, and from that we can understand the you know some qualities and certain festivals, certain fairs, certain you know things about those particular states or with that particular government. So government has to go for this. And if government is going for an advertisement of something, they are providing as services. So in that case, tourism is a services. If you look at all these pictures, we can understand these are pictures for, which are made for the purpose of tourism to the tourist. And uh, if this kind of advertisement are made by the government, what could be the place of supply? That is the question. Our question is very simple. Everywhere the question is same, place of supply. What could be the place of supply? So if you look at this, answer is very simple. Place in state of dissemination in proportion. So whatever is the place of dissemination, and we are going to calculate the proportion of that, and accordingly, the place of supply will be uh, decided. Next number. <coughs> Sorry. Next one. And uh, if you look at this, now this one is a Everybody's dream, at least bullet train. Passenger transportation, passenger transportation of just just take take this minute. Okay, okay, clear. Passenger transportation service. We can do this passenger transportation by using train, air, and road transport. So here we have taken an example of. Railway transport or <coughs> sorry, we have taken an example of railway transport or train transport. So look at the title again. Passenger transportation service as separate journey. If you come, if I think there are two types of journey, uh, through and fro, we call it through and fro, going journey and return journey. Trip we call it. If we make a trip, trip of Pune means what? We go to Pune and we get back to Baramati from Pune. So this is called what? If we get back from Pune to Baramati, it is called as a return journey. But here in this case, when we go for uh, deciding the place of supply, the return journey is treated as separate journey. We are not going to include in one journey. Getting my point? So going journey as well as getting back journey is also called as return journey. Both are separated than each other. So now. The people or passengers are traveling from Mumbai to Amritsar to visit uh, Golden Temple. You can see Golden Temple here. Those who have not seen so far, they can see here and uh, pay for me for it. So see, people are going from uh, Mumbai to Amritsar and here we are talking about what place of supply. People are there from Mumbai and they are going from Mumbai. And uh, they are going to Amritsar. So Amritsar is the their Amritsar is their final destination. Forget about destination. Forget about Amritsar. Forget about Golden Temple. But the place where they have started their journey that is Mumbai. And uh, all these are registered recipient. In case of registered recipient, whatever is their location. For example, no doubt they are traveling from Mumbai. They are starting their journey from Mumbai. But basically, if they are from Pune, so Pune is the place of supply because all are registered. So register in case of registered recipient, whatever is the location of recipient, that could be the place of supply in this kind of passenger transportation service. But don't forget that here we consider return journey as separate journey without fail. I hope you have understood what I mean to see. So this is for journey. Now, passenger transportation journey Similar sort of example, but unregistered recipient is there. In previous case, in earlier case, it was there for registered recipient. Recipient is what? Unregistered. Look at this. 
passenger transportation service return journey treated as separate journey again there is no question the matter is same only the recipient is different in earlier case the recipient was registered in this case register recipient is unregistered and uh, they are from hisar is one of the place in haryana hisar <coughs> first of all they are traveling to hisar from hisar to delhi by bus then they are traveling from delhi to mumbai by plane to watch get way of india so this is the passenger journey the journey is in two forms journey is in road transportation first of all later on it is in air transport but the destination is mumbai but we have two locations location number 1 is hisar location number 2 is delhi so those who have reached in mumbai they have traveled by two different cities hisar as well as delhi so in this case and they all are unregistered dealer unregistered recipient sorry not dealers unregistered recipient so in case of unregistered recipient what could be the place of supply or determining the place of supply is little bit different in case of registered no doubt whatever is their location that could be the place of supply but here all are unregistered so what will be the clause it's a very simple clause place where passenger embarks on the convey for a continuous journey see where they have started their journey or the place or the first point of departure we call it in another words or in other terms where they have started their where they have departed first time for the the purpose of journey and here the place where they have departed first time for the journey is hisar not delhi second time they departed a departure from a delhi so we are not considering second time we are considering the first point of departure and that is hisar so hisar is the place of supply it's a very simple one to understand and the last point of a day to this is our favorite one most of the people they go for stock broking they go for financial and banking related services as we have so if you look at this you can understand what i'm going to say see banking and other financial services including stock broking so see company is in bangalore look at this company is in bangalore bank is in delhi customers of bank from different places so this one is a line of customers and they all are not from one single place they all are from different places or different parts of our country am i audible hello 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 prashali 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 अरे जो बाकी So, if you look at this, company is in Bangalore, bank is in Delhi, customers are from different parts of the country. So, if you look at this example, uh, what could be the place of supply? And for deciding the place of supply, there is one panda. What is that panda or mantra? Location of the recipient in supplier's record. Whatever is the rec, whatever is the location of the recipient, which is there in the supplier's record. Supplier has some sort of record of the recipient so that could be the place of supply and for example you can assume like this one also there is no record available then whatever is the location of the supplier that could be the place of supply understand this so people are not from one place if supplier is having the record of customer then whatever is the record according to the record the place of supply will be decided 
for example there is no record of the supplier in the there is no record of the then whatever is the location of the supplier that could be the place of supply so this is for banking and other financial services including stock broking and here we have talked about the place of supply as far as banking and other financial services including stock broking is concerned that's all for this and here we take a break just remember slide number 39 we have done and we are about to start slide number 40 in next lecture so just remember this person of uh, the person who is holding umbrella where insurance is written <coughs> insurance services we are going to discuss in tomorrow's lecture at our particular and scheduled time so this is slide number 40 where we get guys or where we will start from tomorrow so we take a break here and i'll get back to the home screen and i'll ask you some questions if you want to ask some questions you can ask your questions if you do not have any question then i can go ahead so thank you very much boys and girls you can leave the meeting